So it requires policies uh, to accompany this development. And uh, Kazuto, I'll let you give us the landscape of where we are in policies. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Patrick. I think uh, that's a very nice segue to, uh, to my discussion about uh, the policies and the governance of the AI. I think um, this uh, 2023 is the sort of a turning point of the uh, uh, AI regulation. For many years, the AI was uh, in the, you know, shown in the first video that um, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a creation as well as it's a, uh, it's a risk for using for the military purposes. <clears throat> so there's been a long discussion about the laws, the lethal autonomous weapon systems in the United Nations and uh, particularly under the context of the uh, Covenant of the Conventional Weapons, CCW, and uh, there were not much progress in uh, regulation because on the one hand, there are big countries like United States and China, Russia, try to use the AI for improving their military capabilities, while there are certain concerns that these AI will go beyond the uh, human control. So the, the hot point or the, the talking points all the way is that um, how human can control the AI. The problem is, as Daniel has uh, described, uh, is changing because the context is, uh, is now, not only uh, AI is used for the military purposes, but also the political purposes. The uh, election interference uh, we discussed uh, yesterday, and also there are a number of occasions that there are fake news, uh, the fake video, and you know, the the progress of uh, ChatGPT and uh, uh, large, uh, large scale langu language model has made it possible to create the uh, animations and, uh, and the videos that is quite difficult to distinguish with the real ones. So there are uh, discussions going on from uh, uh, starting from the uh, uh, May uh, G7. Hiroshima summit and there was a, a, a discussion about the, the, to start the AI Hiroshima process and uh, in June the EU has uh, uh, set up the AI Act uh, which is to focus on the safe use of AI and the protection of and respect of the fundamental rights and values. And also in July, there was a, a Security Council discussion about the uh, uh, AI meeting which is the first time that the Security Council takes, takes out the AI as the one of the threat to the international security led by UK and the Antio, Antonio Guterres, um, uh, the uh, Secretary General of the United Nations has, has proposed the idea to set up the uh, international institution for inspection of the uh, uh, inspection and verifying the AI products and uh, that may well, we are still in the discussion how, what kind of uh, uh, system or the international institutions can monitor and, and verify those uh, AI-generated uh, information, but uh, I think it is still a very much uh, in, in, uh, in uh, infant uh, stage. And then in September, there was a, a G7 guidelines for designing AI. So the, all the AI designers uh, should be monitored and reporting to the authorities to control the, uh, to, to set the certain guidelines or guardrails to, uh, to make sure that it doesn't go beyond the certain un unexpected use of AI. And then October, the last month, there were a lot of initiatives took place there are internet governance forum in Kyoto to discuss uh, under the UN flag to uh, to regulate the uh, to regulate the uh, uh, AI uh, AI use and also the uh, until recently there was a, a UK uh, AI safety summit uh, where you know everyone's talking about the Elon Musk and Rishi Sunak talking about it but uh, there aren't much uh, have come out it was basically. Uh, uh, pointing out some of the uh, issues for the necessity of international collaborations, uh, taking appropriate measures, uh, you know, uh, finding out uh, the risks and the uh, area of cooperation. So that was very general um, outset of the uh, AI regulation. And I think the most powerful and, uh, uh, and a detailed uh, discussion 
or detailed uh, um, uh, regulation has set out by the United States. The, uh, the President Biden has issued an executive order uh, which is to, uh, to set up the new standard for the uh, for companies to 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 uh, to follow the, uh, the to design uh, uh, to design the the AI and also providing the test results to the authorities, uh, protection of the consumers, and uh, uh, try prevent the the use of AI for uh, which may uh, involve some of the discriminatory uh, 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 algorithms and also focusing on the medical AI and also talking about the international partnership. And I think this is an uh, interesting development because there are so much focuses on the use of AI, not for the, the, for the military purposes, but also the civilian use and also the danger for using AI for the um, you know, uh, life-threatening situations like uh, medical uh, situation or the transport or uh, you know uh, all these uh, <coughs> things that are related to the the safety and the security issues so I think the uh, the discussion of the uh, to control and regulate the AI is now just beginning but it is more or less focused on the uh, within the G7 or uh, a security Council level, and uh, it is not expanding to the wider scale. And what is interesting is that uh, well, uh, last month, when the, there was a, a Belt and Road uh, Initiative Summit uh, took place in Beijing, China also uh, launched the, something called uh, Global AI Initiative, which is in the context of the other three uh, initiatives, Global Development Initiative, Global Security Initiative, and Global Civilization Initiative. So the China is showing its interest to, to, to get along with this uh, 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 global AI governance, but uh, there were not much uh, details um, uh, uh, published uh, from, the, from the China side. So We'll, perhaps this is a sort of a, 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 a sort of a harbinger of the further uh, confrontation of the G7 AI uh, regulation and also the Chinese uh, uh, regulation, which is based on the different values uh, from the G7. And finally, our, I, I think there are there are number of issues that is involved, uh, but I think there are much less attention paid to the military use of AI. And I think this is one of the problem because, because the use of AI is so wide, uh, there are the shift of the focus uh, turns around uh, every time that we discuss. So I think the, when we talk about the, um, the AI regulation, we need to set the sort of a sectoral regulatory framework for the military use, to, uh, prevention of the interference, uh, election interference, uh, prevention of the uh, production of AI, AI for the fake news, and so on and so forth. So I think this segmentation of the AI regulation is necessary, but now it is still a very broad, uh, broad discussion, and I think uh, we need to elaborate that. And I think this discussion today will start will be the starting point of this uh, uh, this sort of a new regulations so i'll stop here thank you thank you kazuto uh, yeah uh, it, it illustrates again as uh, daniel was saying well the beginning of the debate we discover it and say what do we do with it uh, that's the beginning what i observe in complement of what you said is that when you look uh, the different part of the world, Europe is still on the defensive, yeah. the usual. So what they did, they, as we can't unfortunately create the tech champion who are the first to regulate to prevent the other to act. So it's rather defensive. <laughs> uh, the US is dominating, so they uh, regulate to make sure they maintain the domination. And with a balancing act, though, with the election and the left part, as you mentioned, of the, of the Democratic Party. And China is discreet, but uh, just uh, uh, they are the leader in computer vision, for instance, and uh, they have very powerful program uh, in not only assessing human behavior through uh, artificial intelligence, but predict 
human behavior. And behind it, there is notably a company called Bidens, and mm -hmm. this is a company who owns TikTok. So I let you make the connection. I won't go any further. But uh, we see the same pattern, but this is a very complex topic. Yeah. And we really need to have, I think, everyone to realize oh, that's where it is. And as you rightly said, there are different aspects to it that will require different type of treatment. So thank you. So